Hello, this is Crazy Roads, and welcome to the second uh, GMAX co content creation for trains tutorial. To, uh, I showed in the last video, I showed you how to set up a uh, GMAX environment for use with trains, um, and now we're going to be uh, fine-tuning some settings and um, just showing you how to uh, just a few of the ma major uh, tools and um, and uh, everything. So, um, first of all, you're going to want to go to, uh, customize, and you're going to want to set up your, uh, the units that, um, this uses. Um, by default, it's going to be using metric. Now, in these tutorials, I'm going to be using the U.S. standard feet with, uh, with decimal inches. And, um, you can use metric, but these tutorials will be using, uh, the U.S. standard. Um, hit OK, and that will apply your settings. Um, then I would like to show you uh, some of the tools. Um, well, up here is your uh, main toolbar where you'll find most uh, shape manipulation tools. Um, there is the um, linking, which is something that we will not be going over at all for trains content creation. Um, I actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I lied to you. We, we will be, but that's going to be very later on. There's just your normal select tool, like if you if you're messing around with like a, a the move or the rotate, um, just click that again, and it brings you right back to selecting. This right here will bring up this menu, which will allow you to select all your different objects by name, um, which I'll be ta which I'll be talking a bit more about later. Um, then there is your uh, move tool if you want to grab and move something along any of the three directional planes. There's your rotate tool if you want to rotate around something around any of the three axes, axes. There is the the scale tool like to make something larger and uh, larger and smaller along certain axes. Axes again. Um, none of these other tools we will really be going into um, along here. But then there is your material editor which will allow you to apply textures to um, to your model, and uh, we will not be messing around too much with this tool right here, but it allows you to choose from materials that you've already created. Um, this right here, this menu, is your uh, basic uh, primitive, uh, is your basic sh like creation menu, um, and you have several different um, palettes of objects that you can select from, and um, different kinds of objects that can be created, and uh, guide points and everything. Then there is your modifier panel, which will allow you to apply modifiers to shapes, and um, which will be crucial later on. There is your, and then there is the uh, hierarchy panel, which will allow you to change different, um, more so uh, m like metadata within shapes. It's it's complicated. We won't be using it too much. We won't be using this panel. We won't really be using this panel, and. Then there's this, the tools panel, which will allow you to uh, collect resources, um, clear UVWs, and more, most important, your polygon counter, so that you know that you're not making some massive shape that trains isn't even going to be able to load. Um, right in here, this, um, these quadrants are your main, they're, they're your viewports, which will show what you are modeling. Um, I, when I'm modeling, I prefer to just use one, so if you click right in the middle of the viewport, this is perspective right here, and you press down here in your, in your different, in your viewport, me, um, menus, press this one right here, which is the square that has the arrow coming out of it, and that's the min-max toggle, which will allow you to expand that quadrant to, to the whole screen, which makes it a lot easier to view. Right here are your arbitrary camera controls. You have a uh, zoom right there, which does exactly that. Uh, as you zoom in and zoom out. There is the zoom all, which zooms every single viewport at once, which won't be necessary if we have um, it just expand to the, uh, the perspective. There's the zoom extents, where if I had a shape right there, it would zoom in so that that shape perfectly fills the screen. Um, there's the zoom extents all, of course, which will allow you to zoom the extents in all of the quadrants. There's your field of view, which will allow you to change the field of view to very wide angle, or very zoomed in, 
That's not something that you want to mess around with a hell of a lot. Um, there's your pan tool, which will, like, just pan around, like, like so. There is your orbit tool, which will allow you to orbit around the model and around several different axes. And then, finally, we already covered this. There's the minimum maximum toggle. Um, the rest of the tools around here are uh, for animation and for... Um, for other and they're they're used for other things, but uh, this is just a basic overview of the tools that are available to you in uh, GMAX, and that wraps up this second GMAX tutorial. Please stay tuned for the third tutorial where we will start ba making uh, basic shapes. This is Chris Rhodes. See you next time.